Ladies and gentlemen, it is an exciting day today here at Liberty Coach in Stewart, Florida. Today we found the first quad slide Liberty Coach with the twin bedroom super slides. Frank, how you doing today, Great, sir? Great, buddy, how you doing? Excellent, thank you. This is unlike anything we've ever seen. What is the story on this coach? Well, this was a special order for a client to do the two super slides or the super suite, if you will, in a quad slide coach. This has been well over a year in putting together and a number of things we modified and changed to be able to make sure that this could work properly. And you said that the owners of this coach have owned several different coaches away from Liberty and have now come back to yeah. the Liberty Coach family? Yeah. yeah, they have. They started out back uh, in the early 2000s with a non-slide Liberty and then they went to the other coach manufacturers, Prevo manufacturers out there, and we've stayed in contact. They're good friends as well. And um, a little over a year ago, 18 months ago, something like that, we started talking about putting a, a project together, and this is what came about from it. Yeah, absolutely stunning. Dean Lauk's Artist Series number 19. Do you know what the inspiration was in this paint job? You know, I don't know. Client and uh, Dean got together, and when it was all done, they were sending me the renderings of it, and it came out amazing, obviously. Absolutely. And what are some of the reasons that these owners would choose Liberty Coach over uh, other options out there? I think because of how detail-oriented we are, the quality they could see of what we are doing compared to what they had in the past and the different design aspects that we could accomplish that nobody else could do for them. And this being the first quad slide with the bedroom super slides, you mentioned that you had to make some changes in this coach that you haven't ever done before? Yeah, weight is always a concern for us. So to be able to do this because the super slides are heavier than the standard size slides, we back down on the Volta system to a single battery bank as opposed to the two battery banks. Uh, we cut down on the uh, hot water capacity from 40 gallons, which is more than anybody has in the industry, to 20, which is pretty much the standard that most have. So there was a few things that we did on that. You're going to see inside as well some differences in the flooring. So we had to do a, quite a bit of configuration change to be able to make sure that we were good on weight. I know Liberty Coach isn't just about the coaches, it's about the lifestyle. You guys were out at Charlotte Speedway having quite the party, I heard. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think we're still recovering on that one. <laughs> Denise and I got there on the Monday prior to the race, we got stuff set up. Everybody started showing up a couple of days early and then we went from there through the Sunday of the uh, Roval race, which was amazing. Everybody departed on Monday. We basically had a seven day wedding. <laughs> yeah, you made quite the presence with all the Liberty coaches lined up. Now, Liberty coaches at all kinds of different events. I know you're gonna be at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show later this week. What all do you guys do every year and what type of events do you have where the owners can participate? We sponsor the major clubs that are out there. So the Prevo Proud Group, they just finished up their Branson Rally. We were there supporting that with our tractor trailer and salespeople. We unfortunately didn't have a coach to be able to display, but we were there for that. Prevo does two of those events a year at different locations. The Bus and Biker does two events a year, different locations, and so does the Roadhogs, two a year and different locations. So we are there supporting those groups. I'm pretty much most of the time at all of those. We have the different uh, resorts that we own lots at, such as Petoskey, Michigan, Hearthside Grove. We also have lots at the Indio Motor Coach Country Club, Indio, California. We support events that they do in both of those locations, plus Mountain Falls in Lake Toxaway, North Carolina. We just come back from there as well. We do service support there, plus coach displays, plus we support uh, functions that they do there and then of course the boat shows. We're doing the Fort Lauderdale boat show now. This is gonna be our 28th year, I believe, exclusive in the Lauderdale boat show. We also do the Palm Beach boat show, which is in March. We also go to uh, Daytona. We have an event that we kind of have a few people together on that one that changes every kind of every year with people. And then of course we do the Sturgis event as well. So, you know, we stay pretty busy moving around, moving people around, getting coaches out to other people to see, plus supporting the groups, supporting the customers while they're there as well with service. So we stay pretty busy all year long. 
Yeah, absolutely. So if Liberty Coach owners are looking for something to do to use your coach, you're always giving them an, an excuse. Absolutely. If you don't give them a reason, they won't keep it. Yes, sir. I want to take a closer look at this coach. Before we do that, it's uh, fall of 2022. What's your current inventory situation? In Liberty Coach market right now, we've got two coaches on consignment. On the Motorhome Exchange, I believe we've got six units that are in inventory there on consignment or that we own at this point. As far as new inventory goes, we're taking orders now going into the 2024 year. I think January 24 as far as uh, delivery right now, which would be 24 product. The sales part of it is still staying very good. It's still at a high level for sure. I heard you guys have a blowout deal on that 2021 marathon we coach. Do. We do, uh, we do. Double slide X3. I know there's a blowout deal on that. And then also another a huge price reduction on a 2013 bath and a half Liberty coach. Yep. What a great opportunity for sure. someone. But what else is going on with this coach? Well, on this coach here, we can start outside. First bay on the passenger side. Pretty used to seeing this with the slide out trays on the floor. Again, our design, lowest profile in the industry. We have the tool drawer here as well. And then we have the upper cabinet uh, storage with drawers in there. We come into uh, different now on our quads is having the panelever door here. And in doing that, we were able to get back to doing our 65 inch TV down here in the bed, as opposed to what we had previously with the 55s down here on the quads, we now have the 65. And then this particular customer wanted to do a, a wine cooler down here in the bay. And then we have the storage drawers on top and around as well. And a Crestron panel here for controlling all of the functions on the interior of the coach as well as the exterior. We've got the outside awning controls here, which are also controlled via Crestron or on the remote controls as far as wireless, be it iPad or separate remote. And we did demonstrate those awnings in the last video we did on Liberty Coach 894. And in that video, we showed how the awnings go out on both sides of the coach. Does every Liberty Coach has awnings yeah, like that? Exactly, so this has got the awnings on both sides of the coach that are full extension that also pitch down as well on a double stage. Third bay here on the uh, passenger side, there was an option that wanted to have a lower bay refrigerator freezer combination unit. They like to drink beer. <laughs> Again, the drawer storage here. The uh, grill unit stores here. Now the grill would have to be taken out. Take it out, put it on a table, put it on a, a bench, what have you, and then plug it in. And then fourth bay passenger side storage and then a rollout toolbox as an option here. And then our water bay here, fifth bay. Looks pretty much the same as all of them that you see, except uh, as we mentioned before, we've got a 20 gallon water heater in here as opposed to doing 40. This was because of the additional weight with the super slide to be able to drop some of that weight down. Battery compartment for Prevo, as far as their rear service compartment and where the engine starting batteries are located. Did a pressure washer installation here. This is set up so that everything can be drained out of it. It gets its water supply from above, but all of that can be drained down for winter storage. Okay, does this coach have deionized it filters? Does. Oh. We'll get to, we'll see that on the other side of the coach. We have the trailer power here for 220 power to the trailer, as well as the starboard side shore power inlet, if you need to use that as opposed to doing the cord reel. We always have that on every coach we build. Standard package back here for the uh, powertrain, the Volvo D13, 500 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. We have the belt guard here. As I say, some people like to have it on there, some people don't. Depends on how, if you want to see the belts flying around. Uh, this just cleans it all up. We also do our own uh, polish here on the heat shield for the DEF system for the regen on the exhaust. What's the uh, towing capacity on this coach? Towing capacity is 20,000 pounds and 2,500 pounds on the tongue weight. And we come over here to the uh, fifth bay on the driver's side. Pretty much the system that you've uh, always gotten accustomed to see from Liberty Coach. You got a stainless steel fresh water tank. It's about 160 gallon capacity. Aluminum holding tank, same size capacity as far as that goes with a uh, stainless steel face on it. And then of course the uh, copper drain system that we have for the gray water. We have the gray water bypass, which allows you to bypass the gray water away from the tank out onto the ground or through a, to a storm sewer if you can do that via garden hose connection. We have the sewer uh, outlet here for draining the, the sewer tank. The black and gray tank is together 
and you can drain that from the driver's side or the passenger side of the coach. They're both air operated. This cover here keeps the dirt and what have you from coming up inside. Once you have the hose connected, you would turn it over like so to keep everything from wanting to crawl up inside the bus. And then we have the 100 foot water hose reel here, electric. And then we have a retractable spray head here for cleaning out uh, the sewer hoses or whatever you'd like to use it for here. Yes, sir, and you mentioned a 160 gallon uh, fresh water tank. Uh, what's the diesel fuel carrying capacity on this coach? 220 gallons. Okay, so, biggest in yep. the industry biggest, that I'm yep. aware of. Absolutely. We also then have the ability for you to be able to wash out the holding tank with a uh, electric solenoid valve push button here takes pressurized water into the tank so you can wash that tank out as opposed to having to put a hose in or uh, whatever other method you would have. The sewer hoses are stored here. You have the 14 foot standard that goes on and then to the elbow into the uh, ground or you have another 14, 16 foot extension if you so need it. So fourth bay here on the driver's side, we've got a closet arrangement here. Okay, we've seen shelving and you've mm -hmm. mentioned the closet, right. but this is the first one we've seen uh, recently. Right, so this has got closet arrangement. We do have the tubs for storage here. We also have a drawer storage here. And then you were mentioning about the DI tanks. So those are the DI tanks for the pressure washer that's on the other side. Uh, it is all bypassable, so in case you have to pull those out for whatever reason, you can still use the pressure washer. This is obviously then also heated over here as well. Third bay over here on the driver's side, we've got the ladder that comes with every coach that we build. And then we've got the uh, generator, 12 and a half kW Onan. Yeah, we've talked about that. It's been several years since you went from the 20 kW to the 12.5. Now, you mentioned you made some adjustments with the battery system on yeah, this Yeah, we did. So the battery system on here has the single Volta pack on it as opposed to the twin. That takes a lot of weight out of the coach by doing that. So what's gonna happen on this particular unit, they're not gonna be dry camping with this very often, basically, uh, on their travels and how they use the coach. So they'll be either using the generator or they'll be plugged into shore power most of the time. On our dual pack system, you're used to getting 15, 16 hours with one AC on uh, before the auto start hits. Now you're probably gonna be looking at seven to eight hours. So you just half all your timing down as far as that goes. And is this the first coach that you've done that size of a system in? Yes, or? battery management system here for the Volta as far as being able to see what the state of charge is plus your shut off for the system. And again, we've talked about this before. Should you need to store the coach and there is no availability to power the coach up while it is in storage or if there's something that has to be done to the coach that they don't have power capability, you can shut the system down with a single button press. If the batteries are sitting at about 90 to 100% of charge and you shut it down, you can come back to it, I say three months, four months, Volta says probably six months, and you can turn the system back on again and it's gonna be fully live. Now that's only on Volta system coaches, like the older Liberty coaches, to my knowledge, no. would need to be plugged into 50 amp. Yeah. Do you know what year that started? So it would be on 2017 model year, which would be starting with coach 806, and that would be 2016 year. Yes, sir. I'm always impressed. You know your coaches and you know every coach uh, as good as anyone in the business. So we've got awning chair storage here. So there's four chairs that are going to be supplied with the coach. They're on the different exterior bay doors here. And then we have the slide out tray independent on this side. And is there a reason it's not one big pass through tray and you have <clears throat> split trays? Yeah, because of the fact that if you do one big pass through, you're you're only going to get about half on either side, if you will, and then you don't have the ability to have the be, have the tray be as uh, as wide, if you will, for capacity. Blind spot detection system, standard on all of our coaches. So that's the radar system that runs down the entire length of the coach. There's three radars, if you will, and they are uh, set up in a situation that they don't get interfered with by rain, by mud, by snow, by sleet, whatever. So the system has been extremely reliable. We started that on coach 865, which was a 2021 20, uh, model year coach. So we've been a little over two years on that system and it's worked out really well. And then this coach also has a collision uh, avoidance system? Or? Right, so it's got the advanced Prevo driver assist system, which has the collision warnings. It also has lane departure. So when you look at the uh, windshield, 
uh, you'll see a camera mounted that is on the windshield now. That is part of the lane departure as well as the collision alert and also the adaptive cruise control system. So being the first quad slide with the super suite, this is probably the most living space in any Liberty coach out there? This has got quite a bit, there's no question. <laughs> there's yes, a lot of airspace in here. You think we can take a look inside? I think that you want to, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now this is unlike anything we've ever seen, different colors, different styles. Was there a inspiration for this coach? This is the direction that they wanted to go with it with Kim. Of course, uh, we've talked about it quite a bit. My brother runs the manufacturing facility up in North Chicago, Illinois, and he does all of the design work, cabinet design, floor plan design, any modifications that are done that way. His wife, Kim, does all the interior design. So this was an inspiration between Kim and the client, and it's it's got a lot of wow factor. There's no question. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we look at the rest of the coach, can we take a look at the cockpit area here? Sure. So one thing that's unique on this that we've only done one time before, essentially, and that was on the uh, Kyle Busch coach, Coach 831, is this has a solid TV mount here as opposed to being the fold-down lift. So we've got the TV mounted straight here, which has brought this cabinet down, and we've now got larger cabinets on this front overhead area, and then blocking out the upper uh, Prevo windows. So then when you look at the other part of the cockpit area, it's very similar to what we've done in the past, which this goes into our uh, 2016 model year coaches, which started the new uh, cockpit design that we have, which is 18 different molds that runs from the driver's side of the coach over to the passenger side. So each individual piece was done for us. It's specific that my brother designed and we have made for us, plus we do all the upholstery on it. So we bought different machines, sewing machines to do the double baseball stitch, if you will. And then of course the inserts and the different textures, it's quite unique. I'm noticing this huge screen, even standing back several feet, the screen is popping out at me. What are all the functions that can be done on this screen from the driver's cockpit? Well, that can control everything in the coach. All of your electronics, all of your uh, cameras, everything that you'd like to be able to operate from one location. So yes, one of the functions that this particular iPad has that the other ones don't have is the driving page. So we've got all the different cameras here. We're now looking at the back of the engine door since it's, it's up. We also have a hitch camera, so we can see actually down on the hitch if the actual rear engine door was closed, we'd be looking right down on the ball mount of the hitch. Uh, we have the ability to operate exterior lighting from here that you may want to do as you're driving down the road. We can see our battery condition here. We can see what the amperage is going in and out of the batteries. And then we can see what the weather is as well. And we can control the, the, uh, the dash radio from here also. So there's a number of different functionality uh, aspects to this. We can go into power page, which brings us into, you know, whether or not we've got shore power, generator power, inverter power. We can look at battery conditions. We can also control all the circuit breakers, all the 110 volt and 220 volt uh, circuit breakers we can control from here as well. Now, I see that weather button. Are you able to look at weather in different parts of the country where you're traveling to? Or? Yes, in here you can go down and you can do into your search bar and you can search different locations. And then now your passenger area, I'm seeing a second screen by your passenger. So that one is dedicated specifically to like uh, TV or streaming services like from the Apple TV or something like that. And this, this is absolutely stunning. Now we have all of the blinds down right now. Um, I'm assuming all these just by the press of a button, yeah. all the blinds will go yeah. up and down. Yeah. So now we've got a tilt. So you've got a sheer, if you will, arrangement. Or day shades. Day shades, yeah. And what's the, what's the software that you use to control all of that? And what's your history in well, what we use is the Crustron system. I was the one that brought the Crustron basically into this industry in 2001. I'm a Crustron programmer as well as my son is, and we have other people in the, in the organization that do programming for us as well. But we've been able to utilize the vast functionality of Crestron because it has somewhat unlimited to us as far as being able to build our own modules so that we can get the battery information off of the CAN network onto the Crestron, then brings it up to the iPad. We can control 
the Moritz Octoplex system, which is the electrical architecture in the coach that we brought on into the coaches in 2007. And we wrote the programming to be able to control that via Crestron and then via wirelessly through their systems as well. So we've been very happy with their systems and I, we don't get locked into a drop down menu, if you will, and then you can't make the modifications that you need for the vast amount of stuff that we like to control and that we like to see. So over 20 years now that yes. Liberty's been working with Crestron? Mm -hmm. Yep. Very cool. Have you tried? Uh, I know there's a lot of other. Crestron's kind of the original or the, the the big name in that space. Have you played with any other technology? Or? We've played with it a little bit on other Brand X coaches. It, it would be very difficult to say, okay, fine, we're going to take the next coach 896 and we're going to do a different system and then say, okay, that didn't work out so well, and then we gotta turn around and take it out of there, or we're gonna to have to turn around and say, okay, the next coach after that's gonna go back to Crestron. You really kinda of need to stay with a system and make sure that it's going to work instead of doing these changes from coach to coach to coach, because we get these coaches back in. I mean, my gosh, we get coaches turned around in, in trade-ins and what have you, sometimes six, seven, eight times we'll see that coach and resell it. So we have to support that through all those years. And we've seen plenty of these remote control systems out there that are non-existent any longer. And then how do you support it? And it's a, it's a, it's a huge undertaking to think that you're gonna pull that system out based upon everything that you're relying on it to control to put something else in. And you've had good, good experience with yes. Crestron over the years? A lot of it has to do with the programmer. There's people out there that fight with Crestron, not specifically with the company, but they fight with it in their home and they fight with it in their, in their coach installation because the programmer thinks one way and the customer thinks a different way. So you kind of have to be that person as you're doing the programming to kind of get an idea of how they're going to want to have the coach function and, and be able to make the changes. And we can do those changes easy enough if a customer says, hey, listen, this, this is not making a lot of sense to me. I'd like to have this modification done. We can do all that remotely. And that makes it very simple and very easy at the end of the day. And how long ago did you learn to become a, a Crestron programmer? 2001. It's been over 20 years. Wow. How about your son, Alex? How long has he been? Uh, Alex has been doing it now for, gosh, I'm going to say about six years, five, six years anyway. And then he's the one that's really taken us to a different level with that uh, on the Volta control systems that we have and the other modules that we've had to build for uh, different applications. A lot of value in all of that experience. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. I've got to back up here just because there is just a ton of floor space in this being a quad slide. Now, the first thing I'm noticing a little bit different than the traditional uh, floor plan we see. Yeah, so this has got the L-shaped booth with the uh, electric uh, sliding table here. What's very nice about this is even if the table is out and the slides are in, you can still utilize the uh, walking in and out, using the oven, using the different aspects of the galley with this out. If, with it in, it obviously makes it easier to get, in, get, get around. Now, what else is going on in this coach? Uh, you know, there's just different textures that you can see in here. The client wanted to do something light up in this area here, so the veneer that's done in here is, is in a whitewash open grain material. The leathers, you know, there's different styles of leathers that are in the coach. There's contrasting features. The desk arrangement that's here, we've got the pull out here, and more storage here as well. Down here also, we've got the a new addition on the last couple of coaches that we've done has been this drawer arrangement here to get more storage. Uh, my brother Kurt uh, designed this to be able to go around the drain system of the sink, utilizing the space that's here. This has worked out super. Then we have a tilt out here for like maybe the dish tool, what have you. We got uh, drawer storage here. We also have our Liberty Coach Owner's Manual that comes with every coach. This is something that we've had on board the coaches since 1997. It gets modified per unit and uh, per changes that are done, you know, mid-year at any point in time. This goes through every aspect of how this coach works. If you've never owned a coach before, what do you do when you get to the RV site? What do you do before you pull out of the RV site? So it's very, very well detailed. And now you also have several instructional videos on your website right. to walk owners through troubleshooting as well. Right, we have, I think now there's 16 
15 or 16 little snippets that uh, you and I have done on kind of the most popular or the most asked questions that come up uh, as being an owner. So some of it relates more toward the newer product in the last 10 years. Some of it goes back years ago as well. So, you know, it just kind of depends. And that's that went live over the last month or two. How have owners been responding to those? So far, we've gotten some very, very good comments on it. There's no question. We have a lot of people that have requested access to it, so it's worked out well. Great, great. Now, when you were opening those drawers there, I noticed a new material. Has Liberty okay. Coach been using uh, this newer material, or when did that start? We started this back probably in the last two or three coaches. The other material was getting a little bit more difficult to get to. It also for us here at the dealership uh, when the coaches were coming on trade that material would show wear to it it would be stained this is a lot easier to keep clean so we're not having to continually replace that because this is labor intensive to measure to cut to whatever to make sure it's you know nicely done so this should uh, help us out here on the dealership level when the coaches come in on trade plus i think it comes it makes it a little bit more finished looking went to a, a wolf speed oven here which is a microwave and a convection oven and then we have the wolf inductive cooktop here so that replaced it was a mele before right mele is no longer uh, manufactured so we went to the uh, wolf unit and then because of the fact of bit this being in a slide room we have our own uh, custom design exhaust fan unit here with a carbon filter here so it's recirculation as far as that goes for the uh, cooktop. Nice pantry pullouts. Now this is a little more and rubberized? Is, right, exactly. More resistant to staining things that you would have in a pantry that actually could spill and create you know, smells or, or stains. And then we have the Fisher Pikel refrigerator uh, freezer unit with the uh, freezer drawer below and then the uh, ice maker. And I notice you use different appliances, so Fisher Pekel refrigerator, the Wolf appliances, and then a Keurig uh, coffee maker. Is there reasoning for choosing each appliance or quality? You know, the the Wolf equipment, Wolf Sub Zero, is very high quality. We just don't have issues with those after all the years that we've done Sub Zero and Wolf. Keurig has been very very robust for us as well. Fisher Pikel. A lot of the refrigerator manufacturers went to us different sizes, and most of the sizes today are too large to get into a coach. So the Fisher Pikel built in unit works out best for our applications. Well, we're going through the coach pretty quickly today, but is there any sleeping here for guests? Yes, this couch will go down electrically. It's a jackknife unit, so it'll go down flat come back up and then I'm noticing another huge panel next to the right. bed there so we have another iPad unit for controlling the coach the only difference being is that it would not have the ability to have the driving page like the front unit does okay so all the same controls we saw up there everything camera for, system yeah, you can see the exterior cameras of the coach as well now this is going to have a single bath arrangement so it's mid toilet is the the main unit that's in the coach as far as that goes they opted to have the additional storage space in the back as opposed to the second toilet There's still the jack and jill doors though so yes. you the hallway can still be closed off yeah i love to get it everybody a close-up of all the textures that they use just incredible design work by Kim and the team back in Chicago. This does have the bidet toilet as well. Those are becoming pretty popular. Yeah, we've been doing them here on the last two or three units. People have asked for them. Door here is a little different than what you've seen in the past where we did an actual, you know, wood frame, which this is wood, but it's painted, polished to match the other materials that are in the coach. And then we have the upholstered panels here as well. So a more contemporary feel for sure. That same durability. Oh yeah, absolutely. So Solid. And we come into the super suite in the bedroom. So this is gonna be similar to our triple slide units. From that point back is identical to our triples. And do you know what the depth is of these super slides? You're 30 inches deep on the driver's side. You're 24 inches deep on the passenger side. And then you're 130 inches, if I'm not mistaken, in length on each one. Yeah, huge rear bedroom here. Now, this is something we don't see very often. It's all covered up right now but it looks like they They used... opted to do carpet in the bedroom. Okay. Yep. Sorry, the carpets are heated as no, well? No, I'm sorry, the carpet area is not heated. Okay. No, the carpet area is not heated. But the rest of the, the rest is, is yes. Yes, yes, sir, okay. Yep. Now, what type of storage is going on uh, back in the... Well, on either side of the bed here, you've got big storage. These are Ottomans that are would be normally located in the front of the coach that are sitting up in there now. Yes, but you've sir. got closet on either side, plus you have 
big massive deep drawers here oh yeah Huge. on either side of the bed and then over on the passenger side here we've got these large closet areas they wanted to have shelving in here for shoes and then we also have the rod in here as well so if they decided to take those shelves out they'd have a closet here yeah. full length mirror there on the full inside length, yep. of the door hamper at the bottom yeah and i like to if you pull that out i love how they utilize just that little extra that the, the way they designed that little curve to exactly get the most space out of it exactly as opposed to just making it flat you know we utilize all the depth and talking about laundry do we i think we might have walked right by the yeah we did Box. Box unit. Yep. Yeah, extremely high end, and I notice this is the 500 series. How often are you upgrading the appliances in these as coaches? As soon as they happen, you know the supply chain is a is a complicated uh, mess still today, and so they're changing these units quite rapidly and often, and sometimes they're not available, and you got to get enough out in front of you anymore because just-in-time inventory has been gone now for almost two years, and I don't see that coming back for quite a long time. So we have to keep on top of that, keep on top of you know what's available out there, what's changing, how quick is it gonna change. So it's a challenge. And how has the appliance technology evolved? I know Liberty Coach has evolved as a, a company, but has the technology kept up? And uh... You know, on some of the, the, the appliances like you see in here, because they're more compact, they don't have some of the features of the larger capacity units that you find in your homes today, like your Wi-Fi connectivity and what have you, whether or not you would use that or not. But for the most part, that's kept up as well. Then aft here on the passenger side, we have another closet. This is another one of the ottomans that's for the living room area. Plus you have the drawer storage. And you have a lot of drawer storage here, passenger side of the bedroom slide. And we've touched on a few things in the past on this, but I think it's worth noting, we do a lot of outlets customers come in and say, okay, outlets, and we outlets here with USB ports, outlets on either side of the bed back here, plus there's outlets on the base of the bed. If you'd like to plug your phones in there, there's also flat wireless char charging stations on either side of the bed. We've got outlets by the dinette booth and underneath the dinette booth. There's a significant amount of outlets throughout the entire coach. Is this something new? I don't know if we've seen the wireless charging. I love that you can just lay your phone on yeah, the bedside. Yeah, we've done side. that almost a couple of years. So when we started doing the super slides, then that's when we were able to utilize the flat charging station. And then again, we're seeing another Crestron panel or tablet there. All the same features yep. like we saw in the living room? Absolutely. Plus you can intercom through those as well. So if you want to, you can intercom to the next iPad that's up there or to the other Crestron panels as well. Now, when you say intercom, is that like talk? Yes. Yep. As a, yep. So yep. in the older Liberty coaches, you actually had a telephone. We had the phones and the whole thing. So yeah, now we can intercom through that. Another advantage of having the Crestron part of it that's worked out really well. Instead of having the second toilet room here, we have a, a big vanity back here. And of course, the big lighting, as you're used to seeing yes, in the sir. coach. And then we have a lot of storage underneath in the vanity area. And then we have a nice closet here as well. And more drawers, big drawers. And then we still have the same size shower in that we've always had as well. So in the bathroom, half, half units, and this has got the same size shower. Yeah, beautiful tile work. And we've talked a little bit about the, the, the underneath, what we're not seeing on these showers. Mm -hmm. What does Liberty Coach do differently? We actually manufacture in-house, we build a stainless steel pan for the shower base. So it's a stainless steel pan that's approximately six inches high all the way around, that's installed, and then we do rock board on the walls of the shower, and it's all sealed, and then we do concrete, if you will, mud, on the shower pan itself, put the tile on it, and then the tile goes on the walls. There's no way for water to impregnate those areas and get out of the shower. So we don't look at this being a problem 10 years, five years, 20 years from now. We just don't see it. So if, if something were to happen, that's something that's covered under the lifetime right. workmanship warranty right. to the original owner? Correct. Yep. And you're the only one in, in not only the motorhome industry, the automobile industry. I've never heard anyone with that type of a warranty. Can you elaborate a little bit on what that warranty is? So we have a the warranty that covers parts and labor and what have you on a new coach. But then we also add to that a lifetime workmanship warranty, which basically in, in a short version is whatever we have manufactured in-house fresh water tank, the countertops, the cabinetry, 
anything that would go bad with that. So if a countertop breaks for whatever reason, unless it's been abused, if it got installed improperly and broke, that's our problem. The fresh water tank, if a well is loose on the fresh water tank, it is warranted to the first owner as long as they own it. So either we put a new tank in it or we weld it, whatever's gonna be you know, best for all. Uh, if this shower were to leak or if it was supposed to, you know, all of a sudden there's evidence that water is coming out of the shower somehow around the walls or whatever, that would be something that's our problem, not the customer's. If we've installed an air conditioner improperly and it caused an air conditioner unit to fail, that's my problem. That's not the customer's problem. You're the only <clears> one that will also say no squeaks and rattles. And we also cover squeaks and rattles. So, <laughs> so to the original, original owner. owner. Yep. And yep. I know a lot of the new Liberty Coach owners always want the best and the latest and greatest. So they're getting a new coach every couple of years. But some Liberty owners I've met keep these coaches for decades. Oh, yeah. Do yep. you know what like the oldest original owner in service is right uh, now? I don't remember right now who that is. Well, the late but, Charlie Daniels. Uh, the late Charlie Daniels had his from 1994 until he passed two years ago. So he had his probably one of the longest, plus definitely the most amount of miles. We had, I think so, that, that coach has somewhere around two and a half million miles on it. There were no squeaks and rattles? There could be now. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not the original it. owner anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. It's a magic switch, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Frank, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to show this coach to myself and the folks on YouTube. I know you have a lot going on with the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show this week, yeah. so I know you're very busy this week. Appreciate you. If someone's a serious buyer and they want to order a new Liberty coach or purchase one of the pre-owned coaches you have, who should they get a hold of? Well, there's two avenues. So we have libertycoach.com. You can go on the website there look at the inventory you can email straight through there you can also email coach sales at libertycoach.com you can call in at 800-554-9877 uh, you can also go and look at our other company which is the motorhome exchange look on their website which is the motorhomeexchange.com the inventory that we have there can be also different units we surprisingly we're going to have two newels on that site we've got a 21 newel coming in in the middle of november we actually have a 22 newel coming in on consignment here in the next week or so so we'll have those two units and then we have the marathon the 21 marathon x3 on the uh, motorhome exchange website as well so there's a lot of variety that we've got going on here always a lot of nice coaches coming and going here mm -hmm. Greatly appreciate you and the team at Liberty Coach. Also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Hey, thanks guys. And I appreciate you watching all the videos. Keep the comments coming. I like to read through them as well. Thank you. <laughs>